Welcome to the Discover Workday at UChicago tutorial on assigning costing allocations in Workday. Costing allocations determine which FAS accounts and FAS subaccounts fund compensation within Workday and are required for all employees who receive compensation through Workday payroll. The business process of assigned costing allocations requires users with specific roles to override those existing default accounts. There are three levels upon which costing allocations may be assigned within Workday. First is at the worker level, which is the default funding required by Workday but never used to pay an employee. Only one account can be entered at the worker level. The second, required level, is assigned at the worker and position level. Once a worker is placed into a position, this is when actual costing allocations will be assigned and from which workers will be paid. At this level, you can also adjust distribution percentages if a worker's compensation is funded from multiple accounts or establish start and end dates if you know in advance when a worker's funding will change. Lastly, costing allocations can be assigned at the worker, position, and earning level. This allows dedicated FAS accounts and FAS subaccounts to be assigned to specific earnings within the employee's compensation package, such as administrative supplements and term allowances. If assigning funding to this level needs to be done before the rest of a worker's compensation is assigned to the worker in position level. There are multiple scenarios in which you would assign costing allocations within Workday. The task may present itself as part of a business process within Hire, Change Job, or Add Job. In these cases, the task will display as Next Up in the process or will appear in your inbox. Generally, the HR partner or academic HR partner performing this business process will be responsible for assigning the costing allocations here. Finally, costing allocations can also be added and updated on an ad hoc basis. Now, let's review a demo of assigning costing allocations in Workday. Costing allocations can also be maintained on an ad hoc basis within Workday. To do so, navigate to the worker for whom you would like to update or modify costing allocations. From within the Worker Profile, select the Pay tab. Here you will see a listing of current costing allocations as well as their start dates, end dates, levels, and distribution percentages. In order to modify these or add a new costing allocation, select the Maintain button. Here you will see that the worker and position have already defaulted in. If you wish to also maintain costing allocations on a specific earning, you would enter that in the earning field. However, in this example, we will only be looking at costing allocations at the worker and position level, so you may click OK to continue. As you can see, you are taken to the same screen you encounter during the Assign Costing Allocations task in a business process, which we viewed earlier. As with the previous examples, you should not override existing allocations, but rather end a current allocation and begin a new one using the Add button. Let's end the current period activity pay assignment by selecting today's date as the end date. Now, we will click the Add button to start new costing allocations effective the day after the end date of our previous allocation. Notice there will be soft warning messages reminding you that costing allocation dates cannot overlap. These warnings will disappear once the appropriate information has been entered. Use the prompt to select the appropriate FAS accounts and FAS subaccounts. You can also adjust distributions as needed. Once complete, click Submit. As a Costing Allocations Partner, you are not a target on any business processes. However, you will receive a notification if any workers you support receive updated costing allocations from an academic HR partner, HR partner, or budget partner throughout the course of a business process. You can locate this and other notifications by clicking on the circular picture icon next to your name in the upper right hand corner of your home screen. Here you see I have two new notifications and can click in this area to view additional information. In this message you may view the worker who received updated costing allocations as well as the individual who submitted the update. In this example, Alexandra Wilson updated costing allocations for Davia Patel. By clicking on the link next to Details, you are able to view the specific costing allocations including FAS accounts, subaccounts, and distribution. Period activity pay assignments have costing allocations assigned to them. 
As a costing allocation partner, you are able to view this information using the related action off the worker name and selecting View Period Activity Pay Assignments. Clicking the Costing Override button will display all FAS accounts and subaccounts as well as the distribution percentage. Costing allocations can be viewed for specific individuals or in report format. Please see the Viewing Costing Allocations video for additional information. Additional resources on discovering Workday at UChicago can be found at workday.uchicago.edu. The reporting section of workday.uchicago.edu will provide specific reports related to costing allocations. Thank you for viewing the tutorial on assigning costing allocations in Workday.